In this video, we'll learn how to find the median of large sets of data using our TI calculators. Remember that the median tells you the middle number in your data. It's one of the measures of central tendency and can give you some good information about how your data trends. Let's start by looking at a specific example of a set of data. Let's suppose these are the average high temperatures for some city in July. And we want to figure out the median of these temperatures. So one way to do that would be to use your calculator. So go into the stat menu and edit so that you can see all of your lists. If any of your lists are filled, you want to clear those out first. We're just going to use one list and input all of our temperatures. So start with 75, 73, and so on. And you don't need to worry about reordering the numbers before you enter it in. The calculator can actually resort the numbers into order if you want, but you can also compute the median without having to do that. The calculator can do that for you. Now I've entered in all of the data. If you want to figure out the median, go back to stat and go over to calc for one variable stats and click enter. We want to do this for list one, so leave it how it's highlighted for list one and go to calculate. And we see a bunch of different stuff. The very first statistic is the mean. We also can see the sum of all the numbers and some other information. N tells us how many numbers we had. There were 31. If we scroll down, we see the minimum number and some other information. But what we're focused on is the median, which is MED is 82. So the median was 82 degrees. And the calculator could help us figure that out without us having to resort all of these numbers into order from smallest to largest and then look for the middle number. This is especially helpful if you want to figure out multiple different statistics about the same set of data. For example, the mean, the median, and other information because the calculator does it all for you at once. It can save you a lot of time. It's also nice for large sets of data because you don't have to reorder it. And again, if you want to do multiple statistics on the same set of data, it can save the data for you in your calculator. So this time we found that the median was 82. And again, remember what that means is if you were to have reordered all of these from smallest to largest, 82 is the number right in the middle. There were 15 days that was hotter than 82 degrees, 15 days that it was cooler than 82 degrees, and that 82 degrees was right in the middle.